In this lecture, we will learn about the basics of a PB industrial shed. What exactly is the pre-engineered building industrial shed? What are its basic components? And how we should start modeling that in the ETAP software? So first of all, if we should know and we should know the basic details about the PB shed. For example, here you can see it is a simple PB shed. Here you can see that these are the vertical columns and these are the rafters and the members that is coming from this point to this point that is a side purlin and these are the sag rods and if we want to uh, go that in detail this is the basic image of a pb panel here you can see that these are the purlins these are the rafters these are the vertical columns or vertical brace on the top you will find that there is a sheeting and sheeting is being supported by the purlins and here you can see that these are the plan bracings and here you can see that this is the canopy this is for example a door to enter this is a rolling shutter this is a monkey ladder or what you call it as cage ladder this is a wall panel this is a roof platform this is a catwalk to access these are the turbo ventilators these are the roof monitors these are the ventilators and th this is the basically turbo ventilator or, or we can call it as power ventilator and this is a 300 ridge vent and this is a 600 ridge vent. So accessing or studying only the structural parts, what a structural engineer needs to do is that he needs to design this vertical columns, these rafters, these purlins and these girds and these sag rods. Similarly, we can check for other examples also. For example, if we will see this image, here you can see that on the vertical columns basically there are some brackets and on these vertical brackets rails are welded to give the access or give the passage to the crane so here you can see that similarly like here there are also vertical column and this is the bracket on which rail is coming and on that rail a gantry can be supported and on the top you can find here that this is the plan bracing and this is the purlin and on the top there is a sheeting similarly we can check other pb sheds also and sometimes on the top of the pb sheds solar panels may also be supported so we need to take the loads of the solar panels also here you can see that this is the column and these are the bolts that are being casted for the base plate of the pb shed this is also an ideal 3d model this is the vertical uh, column and these are the rafters these are the purlins and here you can see that basically the ideology of designing is that on the bottom that is on the point where the pb shed is being supported to the rcc columns the thickness or the width of the column is less and on the top the size of the column is more because the moment here is very high and similarly for the rafters also for, for the rafter also the size of the rafter is maximum here and it gets reduced here and when after reaching here it again increases PB shed span can vary from minimum 20 meters to approximately 50 or 60 meters also here also you can see that the span of the PB shed is very high and here the size of the pb shed increases cause the moment increases here and similarly here also increases cause the moment is maximum here and here it decreases cause the moment is somewhat less this is not a pb shed this is basically a self supporting roof panel this is also a type of structural system in which the sheeting itself form its structure you can if you want to read more about this you can uh, google's uh, cell supported roof roofing system or spider roofing system uh, with that you can uh, see the, uh, get some more information from the outside the pv sheds look like this some windows can be there some rolling shutters can be there and some entry or ex exits can be there but on the top it looks uh, and on the outside it looks all neat and clean 